Hello, I'm Liam Carr and now I'm going to explain the final stage of aerobic respiration and that's oxidative phosphorylation which happens on these cristae in the mitochondria inside cells. And the most important thing, if you watch one of my previous videos called what is the point of the Krebs cycle, the most important thing that comes out of the Krebs cycle is something called NADH or reduced NAD. And the reason it's important is because the H there, which in essence is just a, we'll go back to like GCSE chemistry here, which is just a hydrogen, that consists of a proton, which we call H plus, and an electron, which we call E minus. All right? And that's exactly what happens first. That H gets split into an electron, E minus and a proton H plus and something happens to those electrons and the protons here on these cristae in the mitochondria and on this membrane here you've got these proteins all right and they are electron transport proteins and there's a fourth protein here which is one of the best enzymes in the human body and that protein is called ATP synthase guess what that one does it synthesizes ATP so this is the inner membrane. I'll just draw a few phospholipids here, just for the sake of completeness. I'm not going to draw them all the way along. Uh, but just so you get the point that that is actually this membrane up here. And then we'll look at what happens to the electrons and these hydrogen ions, these protons. Well, we'll deal with the electrons first. What they do is they move around these electron transport proteins through the membrane and they provide energy to transport these hydrogen ions here and the hydrogen ions are transported from the matrix which is where the Krebs cycle happens and most of the NADH is made to the inner membrane space of the mitochondrion So you've got quite a lot of hydrogen ions just being pumped across this membrane and they build up in the inner membrane space. They've got to get back somehow and they get back via ATP synthase. All right. So the H plus is back here and the electrons are here. And when they do that, when they go back via ATP synthase, ATP synthase does its thing and it does the most important job that it can do and converts ADP, adenosine diphosphate, into adenosine triphosphate and adenosine triphosphate is what we need for energy, for muscle contraction, for membrane transport and all the other things we use energy for. We use energy in the form of ATP but we're not quite finished yet because the last Thing we're going to talk about, possibly one of the most important things, is oxygen. This whole thing's aerobic respiration and it doesn't happen if we don't have oxygen. And the reason for that is, is because these hydrogen ions and these electrons need somewhere to go. So what they do is, they recombine with each other. and half an oxygen molecule to make water and that's why we need to keep breathing and that's why we need oxygen to carry out um, aerobic respiration we get a lot of ATP out of this process we get 
quite a few molecules of NADH and, uh, from the Krebs cycle. So we can make up to 36 ATP uh, using this, but without oxygen, we can't do any of it. All of this stops because we don't convert NADH into NAD. So if we don't have oxygen, there's a shortage of empty NAD. And I'll explain more about that in a short video about anaerobic respiration. But this is aerobic respiration. It's very elegant, very beautiful. So thanks for watching.